Hello my friends, today I'll be teaching you the correct method to handle your auto K or gas permeable contact lenses. First of all, before touching any form of contact lens, we must wash our hands diligently. We do not want to transfer the germs from our hands onto the contact lens surface. We will instill a drop of artificial tears into the eye before wearing the lenses. Depending on the type of lens and your eye condition, the eye drops that are prescribed are different. So do seek your optometrist's advice on the type of eye drop to use. Remember to leave the eye drops in your eye for 5 minutes. These lenses have a fixed shape. Position the lens onto your master hand's index finger like a bowl shape and instill another drop of artificial tears for extra moisture and comfort as you wear them. Using your non-master hand, pull your upper lid upwards, exposing the white of the eye. Then use the middle finger from the master hand to pull down the lower lid, exposing the white of the eye. Then gently place the lens onto the iris. Now, to check if the lens is in the center of your eye, simply pull up your upper lid and look at yourself in the mirror. You will notice the colored part of the lens is covering your iris. Loosening is important prior to removal. This is to make sure that the lens is not stuck onto your eyes when you remove them. All you need to do is, using your lower eyelid, apply gentle pressure on the white of your eye and push the lens upwards. Then, using your upper eyelid, apply gentle pressure on the white of the eye and push the lens downwards. This will help loosening the suction and as you blink, you will be able to feel the lens move. There are a few methods for removal of the lens. The first method is called the plunger method. Using your non-master hand, pull your upper eyelid upwards, exposing the white of the eye. Then, use the middle finger from the master hand to pull down the lower lid, exposing the white of the eye. Aim the plunger at the bottom third of the lens and away, and the lenses will gently pop out. Now, for the second method, it's called the popping method. Simply look at yourself in the mirror, secure the fingers at the upper lid and lower lid margin, squeeze the lids against the lens margin and the lens will pop out. The last method is called the blinking method. All you need to do is pull the outer lid margin tight and firm sideways and then blink. You need to make sure that the eyelid is not overlapping the lens. If you pull the lower lid tight but it's still sitting on top of the lens, it will prevent the lens from popping out. I will show you how to center your lens when they are out of position. First, you need to identify where the lens is. Once you locate the lens, look at the opposite direction of the lens, then look back towards the location of the lens. If the lens is at the temporal side of your eye, look at the opposite direction, which is towards the direction of your nose. Simply angle the corner of your upper and lower lids and look back towards the lens. Your iris and the lens will interlock. If the lens is at the nasal side of your eye, look at the opposite direction, then look back at the nasal. If you are unable to find the lens nasally or temporally, remember to look underneath your upper and lower eyelid. The lens may be hidden underneath too. If the lens is decentered superiorly, hold your upper lid firmly and look upwards. Your iris and the lens will interlock, decentered again. If the lens is decentered inferiorly, Hold your lower lid firmly and look downwards. Your iris and the lens will interlock and be centered again. If you struggle to maneuver the lens back, simply use the plunger and remove the lens by yourself or with the help of your family members. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, remember to seek for your optometrist advice.